Good afternoon, late afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. In a few short weeks, the American holiday of Thanksgiving will be upon us. And what this means is that over the next few weeks, I have to make some room in the freezer. And so uh, this afternoon, late afternoon, I am going to be smoking a whole chicken. Uh, chicken is not something I tend to smoke that frequently, mainly because it tends to be overshadowed by turkey on the Texas barbecue menu, but I really do enjoy uh, smoked chicken, and it is one of the easiest and indeed quickest things to do. All right, so here is my whole chicken. I have cut the chicken in half, and I have seasoned it thoroughly with a layer from Heath Ryle's uh, garlic butter and head country barbecue seasoning. Uh, Heath Riles is, of course, a barbecue personality uh, on the internet. I've referred to him before. And head country is a very popular uh, barbecue sauce and uh, line of seasonings out of the state of Oklahoma. All right, so I've got my chicken on the smoker. The temperature is about 325 degrees Fahrenheit. This is something which will take approximately an hour and 45 minutes to two hours. I will close the lid and come back and uh, check on it uh, in about 45 minutes to an hour or so. Okay, so we're gonna check on our chicken. It's been about 55 minutes or so. All right, well, I think we still have a ways to go. Let me do a quick temperature check we are, the chicken's not going to be ready until it reaches around 165. So, okay, so it says 122, 124, 26 there. Yeah, we still have some a time to go, and I need to decide within the next 30 to 40 minutes if I'm going to put some kind of a barbecue sauce glaze on this at the end. It's been about 40 minutes. We're here to do a temperature check on our chicken. Okay, so here's the skin is getting a little more crispy. All right, 183, all right. So 153, 154, We're looking for 165 or so. So I'm going to prepare the glazing sauce and we're going to come back out here because I think the chicken still has a little bit longer to go in order uh, for it to be ready. Okay, so for the glazing sauce on the chicken, here are two barbecue sauces that are about 20% or less uh, full. Uh, Kinder's Hot Honey, that's a really popular uh, brand that you'll see at a lot of supermarkets here in the U.S., and Red Mud, which local to the state of Texas, made out in Lubbock. I picked this up at our local Market Street here in McKinney. Uh, the sauces taste similar enough, so I'm going to put them together and go glaze the chicken. So there are the two chicken halves glazed with a mixture of those two sauces. I'm going to Close the lid on the smoker now and wait about 20 minutes uh, before uh, turning off the heat. Let it uh, caramelize a little bit. All right, so it's been about 25 minutes. Look at that, that nice glaze. And let's check the temperature. We're looking for 165. Yeah, 178. This has got yeah, 185, you know, let's see what the thigh is like here. 65, huh? 67, 156, 158. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, put the lid back on the smoker and going to give the chicken probably about another 
20 to 25. It's been about 20 to 25 minutes. Chicken still looks pretty good, but we're looking for our internal temperature. Yeah, 165, that's 176 in the thigh there. Check here. Yeah, the, I'm gonna say that this chicken is done, uh, but what I'm gonna do, because you need to be on the safe side when it comes to poultry, I'm going to, on my Z grill smoker, I'm going to turn it to the shutdown cycle, which takes about, oh, 15 to 20 minutes or so, and we'll just let the residual heat uh, continue to cook the chicken. Uh, it would be a huge mistake to just take the chicken off and begin eating it. It's gonna be uh, pretty hot, so yeah, I probably won't be digging into this for at least another 30 to 35 minutes. So I actually got caught on a phone call, but look, it's been about 40 minutes. The chicken is, yeah, it's pretty much ready. 174 in the thigh, residual heat. Yeah, it's ready to go, it's safe. So I'm going to put it in a foil pan and yeah, ready to eat. So there it is, it has cooled off sufficiently, and yes, I am preparing to eat this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've just finished eating one of my two half chickens. It was great. And I've got lunch for tomorrow. Now, one of the things I really appreciated about this cooking method is that I was able to easily uh, cut through, bite through the skin uh, because a lot of people who cook chicken on a smoker for a long period of time, the skin can be uh, somewhat jelly or, um, yeah, it, it's it's not crisp enough to just cut or bite right through it. So it, that turned out pretty well. Now, this wasn't too spicy. I didn't use any of the glaze, which was left over to flavor some of the meat, although I still have that for tomorrow. This is something I would definitely do again. Probably would try a different glaze. And so uh, we'll see what ideas I come up with as I uh, look through the barbecue aisle at the supermarket uh, for ideas.